short little video, one or two minutes. Alright, I'm gonna talk on the change in us brothers. You know, I'm mainly speaking to the brothers right now. I might speak on sisters too, but brothers, you know, many of us, we grew up in the streets. We live the street like the life, you know, small gang banging, big gang banging, whatever it is. So some of us went to jail and some of us got out and decided to change our life around. Realize that that's not what we want to be. That's not who we want to, you know, that's not what we wanted to be and that's not who we wanted to be and everything. We don't want to be in and out of prison, in and out of jail and everything, been away from the bricks, as we call it, as we speak. And, you know, the streets been out on, on concrete, solid concrete and everything. And the world been able to move freely and everything. So we decided to change our lights around and stop, you know, game banging, stop doing, committing crimes, stop selling drugs, you know, you know, things in that nature and everything. So now that we stop doing it and everything, we're trying to live a better life and be positive, and we don't believe in what we were misled in too. So now that we are we are out of life and we you know we working and we trying to go to school, we trying to establish a business, or we trying to establish a family and everything. We trying to do right by our family and for our family. So now that we doing it, we make we make rules, goals, plans. And we build a um, solid foundation of a structure to keep us out of that, out of that way of life, or going from going back into that way of life. So we did serious and stuck on the things that we must do to avoid that life, avoid from having our feet slip off that solid rock. So when we have women and stuff who don't understand. The way that we live, the way that we structure our life, the things that we do and how we do them and everything, it's a major issue. It brings issues into trying to be in a certain relationship and everything. So because the few men never had to do none of the things to commit, you know, really to commit any crimes or anything to survive and everything. Because why? They, they had the black man who does the things so they don't have to actually do these things and everything. And then they try to criticize you on how strict you is, how you live and run your life and everything, mm -hmm. and the things that you do not to go back. So now that you dead serious on being a provider, um, getting up, going to work every day, um, making sure your house, your household is 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 solid, is clean, is is ran right and everything. Everything is structured, everything is disciplined. You try you discipline yourself, you discipline your child, you 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 did you trying to discipline the woman and everything. But it's like she don't wanna be disciplined. She says she wanna boss a boss nigga or whatever and stuff, but we're not niggas. You know? We're not niggas no more. We're not them niggas no more that that were raised up in the streets and everything. We we changed. Our lives changed. Our way and uh, our way of life and the way we view things is completely changed and everything. We trying to live a solid, good life. You know, we take it slow. We not we don't worry about the money no more. Cause we we used to getting that fast money and stuff. Yeah, sometimes we think about that fast money that we used to get, but we realize that's not the way of life no more. So we accept. Going on work and stuff, getting paid weekly or bi-weekly or monthly and everything. We accept that money coming in slow. We plan the budget on to where that money goes and everything. All we care is about our freedom. Or, or keeping our freedom and keeping the same mind and everything. But the woman now nah, is it's always nagging, constant nagging, complaining. And, oh, you think you better than this and that and everything. Because she haven't changed her ways. She haven't changed her life. She haven't changed that party style life that she she used to live in or she or she's still living and stuff. So she can't see she can't see you or how you just can stop doing these things and stuff. you just live a certain way and you don't accept certain things no more. You don't wanna be a part of certain things no more. She just can't see it. So now she wanna down you and criticize you for being who you being who you became and everything. It's like these women they don't they don't want you to they they could say oh, I don't want you selling drugs and this and that and everything because they they, they don't ever have that money and everything. But the minute you, you stop doing it and everything, you ain't you ain't nothing about that lifestyle no way. She still she won't she out of it, but she still want the old ways though. 
No, it, it don't work that way. You completely change, you have to change. And to be criticized on being so structured and so disciplined and the way that you run the household as being a man and trying to provide and everything and stay straight is she don't want it. She don't want it. She want to criticize you. She want to do things the old way, do do things the old ways and everything. She don't want to change her mind. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy because they sit up and say, uh, some some women say, I don't want no, I want a thug ass nigga, or I don't want no thug nigga. Well, I want a, a man who's control, who who don't have to take control and this and that and everything. But the man you take control and everything, now she don't, she don't want to, she don't want to follow. She don't want to follow. She wanna, she wanna run things. It don't work that way. Like women, y'all need to understand that it's a lot of it's a lot of us brothers and stuff who went to jail, went to prison, who ran the streets and did things. So we just some of the things we we did doing that we were proud of and everything. We had against the conscience and and everything. We felt things and shit too when we were doing things. But guess what? We was always taught and told that we had to be we we are the uh, providers of the household or whatever. For our household and stuff. Most of us, when we were running the streets and everything, we was young, you know, still probably stand with our mamas or still just running the streets or standing for a friend and friend crib. Excuse me. But, um, you know what I'm saying? And then the minute we get, the minute we get on our shame, we start taking life serious and, and we try to live righteous and everything. The women don't want to live righteous. Like, as soon as we pick up that Bible, that, that Quran, and everything, we start studying and everything. We try to live, live the way, live life the way of the book and everything. Uh, it's a major issue and everything. The woman don't want, the woman don't want no parts of that. The woman don't want no parts of that. She still wanna, she wanna party, fuck, fuck, have sex. I'm trying to, you know, watch my words and everything. But she wanna party, have sex, um, and. And, and and still live that way of lifestyles and everything. She wanna do all these things, but she don't wanna listen to everything. It's our goal to be the to be the the provider and the head of the household and everything. That's what we're supposed to do. We know certain things, so we able to see certain things. Not saying that the women don't see certain things and don't know don't know certain things. So, but it's a lot of women stuff who never who never actually even tap into that into that that realm of like religion and everything. But there's other things out there in the world too and stuff because it's just not religion. You know, it's, it's spirituality within it's spirituality and stuff. People, a lot of women say that they believe in the Bible, believe in God and everything, but they don't follow it. They don't follow it. You believe, but you don't follow. How is that? You want to criticize all you think you you don't want to criticize a man all you think you better than me or or you think you better than everybody. So it's not about thinking that you better than nobody. It's about being better than yourself. It's about doing things to keep you from that lifestyle that you once lived and everything as being a man and everything. So certain things we don't allow no more. Certain things we don't do no more. And then you you got a man who say. Who try to live the way of the Bible and everything, and you don't want to follow? What what is it? I don't understand that. You know, woman, you have to support the black man. Cause if you don't if you don't support the black man and you and you try to criticize the black man, tell him that you think you better than everybody and oh uh, uh, you don't really believe in the Bible, you don't believe in that or whatever stuff. So you just 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 following in it. No, we're not just following it. We're not just following it. We try to live it. We never did try to live it before. We probably knew about it and then never try to live it before. The bloom, oh, the bloom ain't, ain't living it. The woman ain't trying to live it. They not even really trying to follow it. Want to smoke? Want to drink? Want to shake your naked asses? Want to walk out, walk around the house naked? Want to walk outside naked? Cussing? Um, gospeling about the wrong things and everything, like. But the black man try to the black man try to do right and be righteous and everything. Ah, oh, you, 
think you high up here and everything and this and that. It's not about that. It's the way that you hold you hold yourself. It's the way that you conduct yourself. And that's that's pretty much all I'm, all I'm trying to say. It this video supposed to have been like two, three minutes, but I had a lot to say, so it's about ten minutes though. So.